Shubha Bihani. Namaste and good morning my friends and welcome back to another video and in today's video it's going to be the first full video that we're exploring in the beautiful city of Pokhara and so right now I'm actually at my hotel and I'm going to be meeting uh, a husband and wife who are content creators known as Conquest for the first time so they sent me a message uh, to meet up and so now we're going to go on some adventures they have planned for the day so they know this place pretty well and I think we've got uh, a spot to get some coffee right here. All right, so they got a breakfast right down here. We're starting out with a little coffee here and we're actually not gonna be eating breakfast here because we're gonna be heading over to uh, meet up with the uh, Conquest gang. Well, let's get a nice little coffee in us. Oh yeah, nothing like a fresh cup of coffee. Namaste, Shuba Bihani, bye. Timro Namkeho. Diggle, nice to meet you. Mary Name Mac. Ah, nice coffee to get going in the morning. Mm, thank you very much. Hey! How's it going guys? What's going on? The one and only conquest right here. <laughs> Nice to meet you guys. You too, man. How's it going? Yeah, real good, real good. Yeah, how's it going? Mac. Good, good. Nice to meet Kyle. you, Kyle. Medina. Medina. Nice to meet you, Medina. Sweet. So, so we got some adventures today? Yeah, man. Yes. And you'll see I film literally everything, so yeah. it's totally always fine. recording. I didn't totally, totally fine. <laughs> yeah. Totally fine. Yeah, see? It's all good. Yeah, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to get on, well, I'm going to get on the bike. We're going to get you two on a taxi to the um, house location. And there's Sweet. the other scooters over there. And it's going to be four of us. You're gonna get shotgun with me, and she's gonna get shotgun with another girl. Okay, sweet, yeah. sweet. We'll have a good time. Yeah. Sounds cool. great. You're gonna separate us for the day. <laughs> yeah, sweet. Let's Just do for it. Just like five, ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. Die. So it looks like we're finding our spot 12 minutes away. We will, we will petrol him from. Oh, all right. See, she's already well known here in uh, Nepal. Yeah. I know her. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, nice to nice to meet you. No, I'm bad. Just a little under there. A little bit under there. One minute under there. How many times are you getting recognized per day in Nepal? Um, you see. Yeah, probably like 20, 30 times a day. Probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. All right, we're hopping in this one. You think I? This one, man. This one, this one. This one is the driver. What's your name? My name is Rahul Raya. Rahul Raya. My name is Mac. Nice to meet you, Dai. Alright, so we're taking a uh, taxi. We're taking a taxi like 12 minutes away and then we're going to uh, pick up the scooters and then we'll start off the day full of adventures. So like today's looking like we're going to go get the scooters, then breakfast, and then what do you guys have in mind after that? He knows. He knows. He knows the, he knows the knows agenda. The Sweet. Well, yeah, well, guys, you'll have to stick around and uh, find out what we're gonna be doing. So you're from uh, Pokhara? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, very nice. What's the uh, What's your favorite part about this place? Your favorite thing to do? My favorite is. Your <laughs> Bungee jumping, bungee jumping. Oh. oh, so the man likes adrenaline, that's amazing. Have you done the uh, bungee jumping here? I I have received so many requests, please come and do the jumping yeah. bungee No, absolutely <laughs> no. I'm on the same page, for me I I'm like... I hate that, I like roller coasters. Yeah, yeah. But I... No. Yeah, just jumping no, off, I, I've never bungee jumped before and so like I'm on the same page, like I just... I, I cannot do it. I'll probably like uh, there's like a zip line. I'll probably do in Pokhara because that's like uh, not too scary, but like paragliding. Yeah, paragliding too. Yeah, yeah. Because you know you're kind of like strapped in and it feels a bit safe. Yeah. yeah. I done that. Yeah, you've done paragliding yeah. here in Pokhara. Yes. And it's safe. Last time. Yeah. Oh, you did last time. Yeah. And how long ago was it that you were here? Seven months. I think now eight months ago. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah. Oh, so recently then. Yeah. Yeah, that's we amazing. We came for uh, one month. One month, so that means now we're here for three. three. So you've been four months out of twelve months. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing, guys. That just shows you how much uh, Nepal has to do, how much they've been enjoying the culture, the food, everything. And you're definitely gonna get to uh, know them throughout this video. Oh, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Oh no, I got it. I got it. No, I got it. I got it. Yeah. And oh, from me, bye. And from me, die. Oh, you give me change. 
Can't be hot. All right. So we've made it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll get you back on that. Thank no, you. No, you're good, man. You're good. Don't worry about pulling out your wallet today. Oh, no, no. You guys aren't paying that. Especially. I'm sister! Yeah, I'm. Sister! Where is she? I'm cool! Sister! <laughs> we are here! The kitchen? Oh, please, not yet. Where is she? She's a heavy cool sister. Sister, is it? Sister, I'll see. <laughs> You're going to school? Yeah. Namaste, bye. We have a new friend over here today. Pirangi! Pirangi friend! Hey. <laughs> Timur Nam Keho, bye. Ah, nice to meet you. Thank you. And you got a school day today? Yes. Nice. Oh, fresh shoe cleaning too. Yeah. Let <laughs> me check that. Yeah, they do check You it. are going tomorrow. To where? Am I leaving tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow we're leaving, yeah. I am going. We um, have to, man. We gotta keep traveling. Oh, this is nice. <sighs> we actually met this family last year. Yeah? They just invited us last year when we came to Nepal. They invited us over just for like a little uh, get together dinner kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Nice, that's amazing. Duchia. Duchia Lea. <laughs> um, so they just kind of like became like a family in a way. Yeah, so yeah. every time like we need anything, we're like, yo, uncle, what do we do? Yeah, that's amazing. She always like hooks us up. Wow, wow. So we don't even like, they last time we came, we we're knocking on the door. They're like, why are you knocking? Just come inside. Yeah, so yeah. now we're just like a scream there and they're just like, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's incredible. Yeah, you're literally yeah. like family now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's that amazing. Nice. Don't have bye. Okay. Thank you very much. Go to school. We'll see you later. See you. And your name one more time? Anki Tashresh. Anki Tashresh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My name is Mac. Yeah. Mac. Thank you so much for having us. No worries. <laughs> so this is where the uh, magic happens then. And what are these called? Sel roti. Sel roti. Okay. And it's a Nepalese uh, traditional dish. Traditional dish. Yes. Wow. And I think you were telling me that you have them around like festival times and special occasions. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> so you usually eat it like how many times per year? Per year during Dosai uh, Tihar, mainly every Nepali people made it this. Yeah. But occasionally, when family wants to have and something special happens, then we also made like this. Oh, wow. And today is a special day when you had IVR. Yeah, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I really appreciate it. It looks amazing. Daniwad. <laughs> Namaste, grandmother. Namaste. Namaste. Guru. Sati. Namaste. She can't oh. like. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I remember you. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I remember you. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, okay, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Grandmother. Very nice. Yeah, so just do gestures. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Thank you. It's so kind of you. Oh, karak chai. Karak chai. The, the strong tea. We let her mm -hmm. uh, make it strong. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's the best way. Uh, chini, sugar. Chini, nice and hot. Sorry, Kidney, yeah. Wait, can I? Can I? This is really pretty. Yeah, this looks uh, so so good here. So this is called uh, sail roti, right? Sail roti. Oh, amazing. Take a piece. Grab a piece right off there. All right. Oh, dip it right in the karak chai. All right, sweet. Delicious. And you can only find this mainly in Nepal, right? Yeah, I haven't found this anywhere else in the world. Really? This is okay. Only Nepal. Amazing. It's made out of uh, rice flour. Rice flour. Yeah. Rice flour right there. So we're gonna we're gonna first of all try it without the uh, karak chai, and then after. Mmm. Very delicious. It's got like a um, fried texture on the outside. Mmm. And what type of like uh, ingredient is in here? There is rice. Oh, we rice. mix, we mix it and make it flour, and we make um, the we add their ghee, sugar, mm. and mix with water, and we fry in oil. In oil. And oh, it is yeah. ready. That is amazing. Yeah, super tasty here. Now we're gonna try it out, dumping it right in there in the uh, karak chai. That's what we call a match made in heaven, right there. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. <laughs> 
All right, guys, we just finished up a uh, delicious breakfast, and now we're gonna be hopping on the uh, mopeds, and we're gonna be visiting some temples. So this is gonna be like the best first impressions video because we have a local who's gonna be showing us around today, so it's going to be so much fun. I'm gonna be riding on the back with uh, Kyle here, yeah? Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, first time on the back of a scooter here. It's gonna be fun. I think the last time I was on a scooter, it's probably been since, uh, since I made videos in Bali. Yeah. All right, here we go. You good, right? Yep. Yeah. Perfect. So yeah, guys, it's a uh, beautiful morning cruising through the uh, streets of Pokhara. And I'll tell you, my first impressions so far of this place are amazing. It's got a much more like chill, relaxed vibe than let's say Kathmandu, obviously being a smaller Long city. Way. And uh, oh yeah, we're going we're going the uh, American way on the right side of the street. <laughs> Stopping over at the uh, petrol fuel station to uh, load up the mopeds. Namaste. And so uh, uh, here in Nepal, do you pump your own gas or they they pump it for you? They pump it. Okay, sweet. I feel like in the U.S. is like one of the only places where you pump your own gas because I've noticed in a lot of countries I've been to recently that. Uh, most most places they pump for you. How much was it to fill up a moped? Um, so for both of us, I just paid uh, twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Yeah. Oh, one thousand two hundred. Yeah. Yeah, one thousand two hundred. Oh, okay. So basically, to fill up two mopeds that were they were both empty. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. 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 So twelve hundred. That's about uh, like eight U.S. dollars. Yeah. So four four to five dollars per moped to fill it up completely. Oh, okay. And that gets like a hundred kilometers or something. More actually. Oh wow. Yeah, I'll get you a lot more, like around one fifty. Okay, that's great. These are all 125 cc. Oh, 125 cc. Yeah, oh, so these 125. things go fast then. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, we got a bunch of uh, exciting things planned for you today. We're going to be heading over to a uh, Buddhist temple first and uh, explore that, see it from a uh, local's perspective here. And then uh, after that, we're going to do some more exploration, which will include taking a boat out to a Hindu temple right on the lake here in Pokhara. So it's going to be an incredible first uh, look into the city of Pokhara. Also, the school buses look just like the ones in the US there. Yeah. Yellow cruising to the city. Compared to Kathmandu, is the uh, is the traffic a lot better here? Oh, it's way more chill right? here than Kathmandu. Yeah. yeah, you can actually ride the scooter comfortably. Exactly, exactly. Like Kathmandu was like uh, just a little bit busier than like when I was riding the streets of Bali, which were like yeah. super, super busy. So I for sure could probably handle riding a moped here. It's just, uh, it is nice when I'm able to still film because when I'm on the like, moped. We haven't been to Indonesia or Bali yet, but if Kamandu reminded me, their traffic reminded me of like Bangkok. Yeah, yeah, this exactly. It reminds me of like Chiang Mai. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, really good uh, comparison for sure. And what does it cost usually to rent a scooter around here? Um, so 1500 Yeah. Really, it's gone up uh, significantly since last year we've been here. Yeah. Last year I paid 800 per day, and this time around uh, it shot up to uh, 1500 1500 per day. Because right now, the time that we're in Pokhara is also a very touristy season. Oh, right. So everything is like just jacked up right now. Oh, okay, yeah, prices are up, yeah, because it's like yeah. the best time of the year. I mean, Pretty right, much. right now being here in uh, Pokhara, it's like, during the days you have a nice warm temperature not too hot where you're sweating so you can really maximize everything you're doing in the day and then in the evenings like it's chilly enough where yeah. you can go outside and not be like you know absolutely burning up from uh the heat that you'll experience in the summertime oh guys we are going off-roading now we're taking the bikes up the uh hill here this is the uh, true nepalese way here oh but that's the temple oh we have arrived back. Oh, the temple is closed. What's the uh, rules with it? Are the, is it like permanently closed or it's just like certain hours per day? Oh, they're demolishing the oh. temple. What? That's pretty, that's pretty. You can actually still go in there a little bit, walk, record yeah, it until they kick us yeah. out. Yeah, we can. All right, let's do it. Oh, here, are we walking up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. They're demolishing the temple. Oh, doing a full on remodel? Yeah, re no remodel. Yeah, destructing this one and making it next side. Oh, okay. Whoa. 
Be, this might be one of the last uh, YouTube videos that's created here. Just got to get right over that gate and we made it. And there it goes. It's like a mini landslide. Yeah, just don't go close to the rock. I think they're throwing it, just kicking it down. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. We are in a construction zone, so. So this whole area is considered the temple. Yeah. I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that was probably the living quarters. Yeah. You can see like windows and stuff where people are like living with the, the curtains. And right. I believe this was temple. Oh, itself this on the right it. side. So when you guys were here last year, you actually did get to experience it? No, or this, oh, this was the one that you haven't been. been. Okay, we that's right. We haven't been to this place. So I guess they're demolishing it this year around. Oh, okay. Well, when we come back, we'll have to uh, check out the new temple. Around there and see, like, my thing is, till they kick you out. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You just go. Yeah. Like, oh my God, we're foreigners. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We had no idea. No <laughs> Namaste. I like that little slide right down there. Yeah, no. <laughs> Science is still saying required to enter. Yeah. Mask and everything, but we'll see. Yeah, it seems like it's just uh, partially uh, closed. All right. Well, it says opening time 9 a.m. Uh, so 7 a.m. in the morning, closing 6 p.m. Namaste. Namaste. Up there? Yeah. Up here. Danevad. Danevad. I guess it's open. Yeah, seems to be fully open. Signs probably should just reduce the amount of tourists. All right. We've got the whole place to ourselves today. Yeah. Wow. This is beautiful. Namaste. And look at this. So many colors. Why are they uh, destroying it? Like demolishing it destroyed right now yeah yeah right and you can see there are some like it looks like structural cracks in the building right there so maybe it's become a bit of a risk the earthquake that recently happened maybe that was as well oh we okay yeah earthquake, like last week could you feel it here at night like around 2 a.m we felt it really it was like a little shake not that crazy but in yeah. the past year and a half there have been two significant earthquakes in Pokhara or just in, in Nepal Pokhara, generally in Nepal general whoa so I feel like maybe that's something to do with it as well. Yeah, yeah, good point. Because you could definitely see a lot of cracks in it. Yeah. Wow. And guys, look at this. You can see beautiful views of Pokhara. I'm sure on a clear day, you can see multiple layers of mountain ranges. Today, it's a little bit, uh, I guess, smoggy, as you could call it, or uh, hazy. And um, you can see that first layer of mountains and a beautiful view of the city. Just in... Uh, incredible viewpoint up here at the temple and interestingly enough it seems like uh the place is still open there's another set of tourists there seems like they've got the office maybe it's just that entrance that's not open so i'm being told this is the first goomba in pokhara which is over 100 years old which makes sense why they're going to be tearing it down and basically making a new and more beautiful structure but uh, it, what is the main reason they're tearing it down? Is it because like the earthquake affected it? Yeah, maybe because it's kind of old and they want to refurnish it yeah. with new, modernized. Yeah, modernized. So maybe next time when we come, we'll have a new one over here. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. Hopefully. Hopefully you guys come again. Oh, for sure. Already planning the next <laughs> trip. <laughs> All right, next on the uh, list, boat ride down at the lakeside, yeah? Grab a little grub and then we walk walk and then grab little food yeah and okay. on the in the opposite side. side of when we go in boat there is one restaurant too Done. oh perfect <laughs> and this makes it easy when we have locals yeah. you guys are pretty much locals now too yeah, <laughs> yeah. <It's a> <laughs> yep. now you will be exactly i'm feeling like a local now <laughs> yeah traveling like a local so <laughs> Perfect. This is quite famous local place. This one right here? Yeah. Oh, okay. That looks amazing. Right down here, about 15 minutes away from where we were just at. Chicken, 
This chica chica alu. Chica alu. Which means like they smash up potatoes Ooh. and like some masala stuff. Oh, that sounds incredible. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. Thank you. Namaste. We're gonna, we're gonna try them outside. Outside? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we can sit inside anywhere for now. Okay. Yeah. 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 Namaste, yeah. namaste, yeah. dai. Oh, wow. So they have the full preparation back there, yeah? Oh, this is what the final product looks like? Okay. It's gonna be deep fried. Deep fried, yeah? Deep fried. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Dip it in uh, sauce. And dip it in sauce. That's amazing. Kimro nam ke ho dai. Ramamal. Nice to meet you. All right, so this is where the uh, magic happens. So basically, uh, this is the like potato type of uh, smash. smash, smash yeah. potatoes. And then, is it mixed in with like the spaghetti type of noodle? No, that will not. This this is separate dish. That oh, will separate dish. Chow mein. Oh, that's chow mein. Okay, yeah. yeah. I need to try out the uh, chow mein. And then back here, it looks like that's where uh, all the cooking's happening. A couple different kettles. We've got some frying pans in there. It looks like some uh, uh, oil that's being uh, utilized to make those. And uh, namaste, my friends. It smells very delicious. Danivad. Danivad dai. Thank you very much. So would you say this is uh, one of... Kiteko alu. Kiteko alu. Kiteko. 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 alu. Yeah. Ah, okay, there we go. Titeku alu. So basically this is, oh, let's use the right hand here. This is a smashed potato that's been fried in oil. Yeah. And then as you've seen in a lot of the videos so far here, we have the spicy chili sauce, yeah? yeah. And that gives it a nice strong kick. So we're gonna put a little, use the toothpick to uh, just- Otherwise you can do like, you can take with this. Oh, uh, oh, okay, and there we go. you can dip it into the- Dip stuff. it in like that. And is it like a uh, salt and pepper they put on there or yeah. some sort of seasoning? Yes, pepper, yeah. salt, Ooh. spicy. Oh yeah, it looks nice and spicy. Let's try it out here, first bite. Isn't it hot? Mmm, it's perfect. Good? Mmm, it is a bit spicy though. Do you love spicy? I love spicy. Mm. So guys, basically it tastes like <coughs> A little spicy. It is delicious, but I had a little chili pepper going on my uh, throat there. What it tastes like is almost like a, um, similar to a hash brown, except deep fried. So actually the uh, the outer coating is maybe a little bit crunchier than like, let's say a hash brown. And then it has those um, various spices on there that gives it a, I don't know the best uh, the spice to relate it to, but you add that in the chili sauce and you just have a very, very delicious morning snack. Is this predominantly eaten for breakfast or all day? No breakfast, in during daytime. During daytime, okay, yeah. during daytime. And is this one of your uh, favorite foods or? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and once again, it is another food that I am loving. And the will be different food, much spicy. Or, or really loaded up if you wanna get the full uh, Nepalese style. What, what do most Nepalese people do, fully loaded up? Yeah. Oh, okay, here we go. Mm. Single bite. Mm -hmm. That is delicious, my friends. Is it your guys' first time having them too? No. Here in this location. In this location, yes, mm -hmm. first time. But we've had this type uh, at another location. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, they're super good. Absolutely tasty. So we're gonna have a uh, slice here, which is. A, I guess, orange soda type of drink, and it's local to Nepal. Mango. Like specific, oh, mango. Mango flavor, okay. Mango fizzy? Uh, mango fizzy. No fizzy. No fizzy. Oh, okay, so it's like a juice. Yeah. Kinda. Oh, yeah, okay. okay, all right, very nice. And so all of this, like, spice on here is masala? Yeah, masala. Okay, so that's what that is. All right. Mm -mm -mm. What kind of masala would it be? Pepper, salt, Pepper salt. Jira. Okay. All types of good. Wow, incredible. Oh, this is Tropicana. <laughs> yeah, Tropicana. <laughs> you know, Tropicana is a very famous uh, orange juice brand in America. And it, it's actually Tropicana too? Yeah. Same brand. Same brand. But it's not the same. Mm. This is the Nepalese version of Tropicana. Mm. And I love in Nepal how they uh, always twist those straws into a nice, like a nice little spiral there. All right, let's try this one out. 
Oh yeah. So it's literally just like a pure mango juice here. When you see it in a soda can, you kind of like have that expectation that it's gonna be like a fizzy Fanta maybe, but not at all. It's a like pure mango juice, nice and ice cold. Which one? Uh, and guys, and we have almost finished off the entire meal right here. It's very delicious. It does give you kind of like a bit of an aftertaste, like a spiciness in the mouth, and that's mainly from the uh, the uh, chili pepper sauce right there. But it, it adds so much flavor when you add it in there. And so I think every single meal I've had does have the uh, chili pepper sauce on it uh, because it's like, it's that much of a favorite to just get that extra spice inside all of the foods. All right guys, and we are heading off to the next spot here, which we're gonna be cruising, I think probably, what is it, like 15 minutes away? Uh, yeah. Yeah, like a nice little 15 minute cruise to get us over to the lakeside area. And then we're gonna be hopping on a boat and actually, the uh, government does not allow any motor boats or jet skis or anything like that. So you can only take rowboats or those types of manual, uh, manual uh, type like a of like one to paddle. You know, yeah, paddle boats, like uh, I'm sure canoes, those types of like rowboats, things like that, to go out on the lake. So we're gonna be uh, taking that. It's gonna be a really fun adventure, guys. So far, my first impressions continue to get better and better of this city. Like uh, from the food culture you have here to the um, various different types of uh, religious. Uh, structures we're going to be exploring throughout the city and uh, once again that Nepalese uh, hospitality and kindness that you experience amongst all of the locals you interact with like this man namaste die namaste. see a nice big smile right out of him guys I just picked them out randomly but that's just to show you how nice people are here in this city and there we go and we made it on and you can see now that it's it's uh, midday on a Friday no Thursday today and so we're getting a uh, Feel for like just like typical busyness cruising around the city during the day here it's just once again it's just not as crowded as like as Kathmandu just because there simply is not as many people here but you still have a lot of hustle and bustle through the day you got buses going through the town trucks cars motorbikes but uh, overall really really chill vibe still uncle you missed it <laughs> honking honking you got to stay back there <laughs> As we were cruising right along the lake here on our way over to the boats and uh, you can see just these mountains towering over the lake. My first time for a boat ride and my first 24 hours in Pokhara. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do it. All right guys, we are arriving here right now and there's a massive visit Nepal sign right when you walk in and it seems like locals are filling up with some fresh water. Namaste. And right over this way, we're going to be able to find the entrance for the boats right down here. So it's a staircase that brings us down. Really like beautiful, colorful uh, designs surrounding it when you walk in. So here are the uh, rates you can find them. They've got them all listed right there. If you ride a boat with the driver, it's like 760. If you ride the boat on your own, pay 660. If you ride the boat for the rest of the day, you get it for 1300. So a, uh, a good price here. Oh. Do you guys want the... the yeah, Let's do the uh, big one. Paddle boat too. No, paddle boat is... We paddle Yeah. You want the larger boat? Driver, yeah, driver, driver. Yeah. 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 Take it from me, brother. Yeah. Yeah. From me, from me, brother. Yeah. From me, from me, brother. Yeah. Yeah. From me, brother. 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 So you guys, the good news is, is I've spent so much time in Lebanon, I've learned how to ar argue for the bill. You have to be up there first and ready. And just uh, talk a little louder. So. <laughs> <laughs> Biney. Let's go, Biney. 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 So this is uh, right here. It's really colorful when you walk right down in here. All of the uh, cliffs, they basically carved them out to have like that mountain look here. Got a little pizzeria in this area and then uh, life jackets. Do we need these or? Yeah, we have to wear it. Yeah, we have to. Okay. I mean, when you're in the boat, you can take it off. Okay, but sweet. Like, when we're out in the water, yeah. there's no one gonna like. Chase yeah, us yeah, down true. The can. <laughs> yeah. So it's fine. All right, so this is it. I'm going first. All right, Donny Avad, we're going for the jump here, brother. <laughs> <laughs> and we have made it on. All right. <sighs> so we've got the uh, Jamaican colors here. This is pretty awesome. We need to maintain this oh, no. balance. Yeah. Oh yeah, otherwise we're going in, yeah? yeah. Oh, all right, we don't want that. Let's make sure that phone's in the pocket all the way then. You need to come here. Oh, God. 
Oh, should I sit one lower then for a second? Oh. Give me space, baby. Uh, thank you. <laughs> if we flip this thing, at least it'll be a good video. <laughs> now everything will be balanced. There we go. Yo. All, right. All right, we have made it. Wow, look at this. You've got the uh, cliffs right here with the plants growing right outside of them. Just such a beautiful sight. Very peaceful. So yeah, guys, to go on this boat ride for, what is it, like an hour boat ride? I, yeah. think, I believe so, yeah. An yeah, hour boat ride, and it's uh, 750 rupees, which is roughly like $4.90, roughly five US dollars, so really good price. And it is, now I understand even more why they want to keep this place like preserved with no motorboats. It's just, you know, you go out on this lake and you have that like peaceful tranquility cruising out this way. And our captain, you're pretty strong, brother. You're able to move all four of us. <laughs> Donny of Adai. <laughs> Good boy. The dog is living. Can I just jump in there? Yeah. And what about like this structure? Is this someone's house? Structure? This, this is. One. I also don't know properly. This is normal. I don't building. think it's a house. Maybe it was like Blue a. House. No, it wasn't a house. Maybe like some government office or something. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's a nice little area to wake up and eat a morning breakfast. Yeah. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Right in like a little cabin you can just rent out. Yeah. Do they do they have any like guest houses like that in Pokhara? They have them in Thailand. Oh, in Thailand, yeah. Right by where's that place? In Bangkok, actually. Oh, in Bangkok? Pokhara? I don't think so. Not that yeah. I've seen, at least. Oh, okay. Not that I've seen. Yeah, you can tell the government really preserves this place. Guest house? No. So guys, as you can see, we are making it a little bit further. We're probably about maybe a quarter of a kilometer away from uh, where we left. And right up there is the Hindu temple. And uh, you can see all the boats pulling up. You can see the Nepalese flag. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit hard to see at the moment on the GoPro. Yeah, temples. Talbarai temple. There Ta is temple. And the name is? Talbarahi. Talbarai? Barahi. Barahi. Yeah. Tal, Tal means uh, this lake. The lake, yeah. And Barahi means temple name. Talbarahi Tal Bar temple. Barahi temple. Yeah. Oh, that's incredible. This is definitely probably what the most beautiful temple in all of uh, Nepal. Every temple is beautiful in Nepal, but this is also very beautiful. Ah, oh, that's a very good answer. <laughs> very politically correct. Yeah, very politically correct. <laughs> wow, this is something else. So what is that? Is that a zip line hanging across? Or is that a oh, telephone? Oh, telephone power. wire. Okay. Yeah, telephone wire for power because oh. there is yeah. no electricity in the middle. Oh, gotcha. gotcha. It should feel weird. Okay, so you know where um, you were walking last night? Yeah. So that's the area right there. Oh, okay. So okay. all those buildings and everything, we're pretty much staying over there in that area. Yeah. And that whole area is like where you're going to be walking. Yeah. And then we just get a boat from there. You can also see people doing uh, paragliding. Right up top. Oh, it's, so it's this mountain over here that they're jumping you from. All the way, Sarangkot Mountain is right there. Yeah, yeah. Like that's uh, that's the top of the mountain, that's Sarangkot. You see the little gap in the middle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the cable car that takes you up. Oh, okay, yeah. To the Sarangkot. To the Sarangkot. And, and that's the best for sunrise or sunset? Or both? both. Sunrise. Okay. Yeah. Sunrise. sunrise. Captain sunrise. says sunrise. All right, I'm going to go for sunrise then. Blue tower. Don't even die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. This, this city is incredible. For sure my favorite one so far in Nepal. <laughs> so this one right here. Is this the main area where people usually get a boat? Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. Men. And we took basically the longer tour so we get the yeah, full. People come over here just for the temple and then go right back. Oh okay. So it's a really quick like jump yeah. across. And what do people pay there for uh maybe like 200, 200 max. Yeah, no well. more than that. Yeah, so if you guys want like a quicker tour, we're doing a, a solid hour, right? But like you can see this is like maybe one eighth of a kilometer just to go from uh, that side of the lake right over here to the uh, island temple. So he's saying that if you want to do a sharing ride with people, you just pay 60 rupees per 60 person. rupees, yeah. But if you want to just take your own personal boat, then it's the same price everywhere. Oh, okay. So, same price then, yeah. Wow. Okay, so 60 rupees. You can... You can get there on, what is that, 45 cents roughly? 45 US cents? Yeah, perfect. So if you basically hop on a boat with someone else. So obviously you can explore this city of Pokhara for very inexpensively when you're doing more like group tours and shared things. All right, we have arrived at the temple here. Wait, 
way. And, <laughs> and this whole area is completely man-made or was there an island here that they built on? <laughs> Island, one by one. Like, oh, okay. They built out, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. Whoa. Don't even die. Okay. Okay, we have arrived to the temple. Namaste. So yeah, right when you walk in, it's a pretty popular place, as you can see. Obviously, with how easy it is to get to. Today is a uh, Thursday midday once again, and so yeah, you got a fair amount of uh, other tourists here visiting, and this is the temple right up here. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> oh, you see that? I think we just got pooped on. Nope. All right, we dodged it. That's good. That, I, th I thought I had good luck, but I guess not. Yeah, well, this is it. Really a beautiful temple sitting right out here. Are there a lot of uh, locals that visit this like every week? Yeah. Yeah. We're sitting, got inside. And is this probably the most commonly visited temple in Pokhara? Come visiting. Like most uh, most, most popular? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this and next one is Bindavasini Temple. Oh, okay, I need to go to that one There is no still. need to take boat. That's yeah. why it is quite easy. And oh, people yeah. And visit there too. Oh, okay, wow. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you should visit there too, Bindavasini Temple. Yeah, I'm thinking in the next couple of days I will. That sounds amazing. <laughs> and these are the views from right over here on the temple. We've got birds flying around, really nice landscaping along the distance, and the mountains. Seems like we've even got a little uh, marketplace over here. Where they've got everything. I mean, you can even pick up some uh, fresh new toys like a... I think we've got a Lamborghini right here. That's pretty fresh. A couple guns, some bird seed. And lots of types of jewelry here. Namaste. <laughs> and a smaller temple right there. And they have a fresh water supply on this side. And restrooms. Whoa! So just to show you a little bit more on this side, we've got a uh, like basically a drop-off point where if you're coming directly from this mainland right here, you take one of these shared boats for these 60 rupees and you can basically jump off right here, drop the life jackets. You got the uh, welcoming Nepalese flag right above there. And look at this. This side is a really beautiful side to land the boats on because you've got the uh, silhouettes of the mountains right over there. Jeez, I can't tell you how many times I'm going to say this, but this place is incredibly beautiful. All right, heading back onto the boat. Uh, thanks for watching it, bye. Danny Vod. Thank you. Uh, so on those boats, how, how many people are paddling? Only one people. One person paddling that whole thing? Yeah. yeah. That guy's got legs of steel. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whoa. Chinese Goomba. Chinese Goomba right up there at the top. And how do you get up there? Like hiking or? Yeah, hiking. Oh, bike. okay. So have you gone up there? Yes, yeah. so many times. And what's the like the time to hike from the starting point? Like an hour hike up? Uh, it takes like two hours. Two hours, And yeah. in Bikers could it will be more easy. Okay, it's gonna you be You can even easier. take a taxi up there yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's a road to get up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. There's a full-on road. It'll take you right, but it's still, you have to hike a little bit mm. at the end point. And the last hike is like maybe 15 minutes max. Okay. You just climb up a couple of stairs. And yeah. There's a lot of shops around, so you can like take your time. Yeah. Oh, sweet. And okay. more upper of this, there is next to the statue, big statue of Lord Siva. Really? <laughs> God. This is when I wish I had my drone. Do people swim in this lake too? Yeah. Okay, but mainly during the summer or? Summer. Okay. We seen last time. Did you guys swim? 
No. Oh, okay. So we saw some people like swimming and uh, there's like a small beach type area over there. Yeah. So I saw like some, uh, some kids swimming over there. Oh, sweet. Let's see how cold the water is now. Oh, yeah. That would be a uh, chilly dunk right now. Yeah, it's so nice. They kind of like just take you right through these like hanging over trees. Man, this is wide. No, I will survive. Don't you? How many days? How many days? I won't. Not even a single day, maybe. I can survive uh, three days. Three. three My days sister just DM'd in the me. wild. Yeah. She saw your yeah, story. She said, I know him. <laughs> oh, really? That's awesome. She's like in the States, in like Texas. She's like, Texas, really? That's awesome. I'm all just like, not I'm Amala. Honey, I just met you. And she's like, what? I know this guy. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and she is like Pakistani, so she's been yeah. in Pakistan. Oh, sweet. Okay, so, nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. from Pakistan. Yeah. Tell her I said, que se ho yar. So, in the summertime, this is where Conquest has seen people swimming around here. So, if you're here, what are the summer months like uh, from what, June to August? Yeah. Like where it's the hottest? Yeah. And like probably even at night, it's like this warm, and then during the day, it's very hot. Yeah. yeah. Not during yeah. day. Yeah. This is winter season, that's why yeah. today is quite mild and nice yeah. weather. Oh, winter is perfect. Otherwise, in summer, we would be like... <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. We would already be in the water then, yeah? yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was rough last yeah. time. We were like sweating. But now, this is the uh, best time to and come to Pokhara, I feel like. Yeah. It's a little bit chilly. Yeah, a little bit. Not too hot. Yeah. But that's the nice part. If it's uh, if it's super uh, chilly, then you just put on a jacket. If it's too hot, you you only have one other option: you either jump in the water or uh, he says that sweat to it me out all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they are explaining how Dido is made, how Dido is eaten. To I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't only eat. I ask questions. Yeah. 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 Like what? Like now we've been in Nepal almost like two and a half months. So I think we know enough. Now. Yeah, yeah, true. You guys are Nepali now. <laughs> I want to make momos. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right. Sorry. You're definitely Nepali then. Yeah. All right. And sadly, the uh, boat tour is over. So we're going to be docking up right over here. Oh, thank you. Daneva uh, Dai. Uh, hello, brother. Yes, please. Can I get the uh, 240 back, please? 240 bag is okay. One, two, 220, 40. Thank you. We have two helmets on. All right, guys, that was the first impressions here of the beautiful city of Pokhara. As you can tell, it is a vibrant city. There is so much going on from the natural beauty to the delicious cuisine. And we have a lot of things now on the list to explore. Really hope you guys have enjoyed coming with us on today's first impressions tour. I'm really looking forward to the series here. And I'll put everyone else's uh, YouTube links in the description below. And I will see you guys in the next video here in Pokhara.